the last thing you're going to do um, is on your neutralized scale, you are going to do a drawing of your choosing in the remaining space. I suggest that you try something monochromatic, um, like maybe green fruit on a green background or um, you know, really anything that you can find that's one color. I gave some examples in, in the module. There's also like the possibility of just drawing color paper. So I have some color paper um, examples in the module too. So what I did is a, like just a quick gesture pencil sketch and I'm going to show you how I would maybe begin this monochromatic composition. So this is a really bright green. It's very similar to the greens we have in here, but it's not exactly what I want. But I am going to fill in both orbs of the apples with that. And then I'm going to lay that here and I'm going to try some yellow. So I made quite a mess and that's fine. That's what we'll do. Make quite, make quite a mess and then later on you can clean it up. So there's some yellow here and then the temptation would be to reach for black or or gray right and you can you can use gray but i see a kind of a blue green in the top of that apple so i'm gonna start to lay in some blue green up here and on this side and then of course we need to manage the foreground and the background as well I think for this particular composition I would actually start with a nice thin layer of this green and just work it into the paper kind of all over. And then I want to pay attention to the transition there. Now we know we don't want harsh lines but we do want some darker value creeping up underneath there. And this is actually not the right green I'm noticing that it's actually a little bit more blue down there. So I'm gonna blend in some blue and this might be a good place to use a Q-tip, a cotton swab thing to blend too. So once you get rid of the harsh line, you really do see value a lot better. And I know I've been harping on that for weeks, but I think you can kind of start to see it. I do a lot of blending with my fingers, but sometimes that can make a mess. Important thing that I last, I'm not gonna make you watch me draw this whole thing, but the last thing I wanted to tell you was, um, if you make a mistake, with pastel, I think sometimes the temptation is to, uh, I'm doing the highlight there. I'm gonna do the highlight in blue and then I'm gonna tuck some white in there. Um, the temptation is going to be to try to erase it and I only use the eraser to, to clean the, the edges of the paper before, um, before, before I finish up. I don't really use the eraser to erase pastel. You can, but it's not its not quite as effective as just sort of buffing it out with a, with a piece of like a tissue or a cotton swab. And then if you, if you need, if you need a different color there, just layer it right on over. So buff it out or wipe it off with the tissue and then just layer the correct color over it. So that's probably a little bit, a little bit better. Now I did want that, so I'm putting it, I'm putting it back. All right. So drawing of your choosing in this last remaining area. Have fun.